y'all welcome back to my channel and today I am super excited because I am sharing one of my favorite recipes today we are going to be making stuffed poblano peppers our friend Ignacia is the one who showed us this recipe and today she is going to be helping me cook but before we jump into the video let me show you what ingredients you're going to need we had my mother chop up everything today she was being the sous chef but what we have for this recipe is about half of a green bell pepper diced one medium tomato diced half of a medium yellow onion diced as well this is about three fourths cups of carrots diced if you want to make this recipe a little bit lower in carbs you can omit the carrots but they do taste really good in here a pound of ground beef a couple cloves of <laughs> diced garlic one fourth of a teaspoon of cumin and some salt and pepper these are the ingredients you're going to need for the recipe as well as four big pretty green poblano peppers we just rinse these off and they are ready to go but one thing about these poblano peppers is that you have to roast them and peel the skin off as it's not very good to eat so we have this griddle pan on high heat and we're just gonna roast the peppers back and forth until the skin becomes blistered since we have an electric stove this is the way that we are blistering the peppers but if you have a gas stove it's so much easier where you can roast the peppers just directly over the fire and blister them or you can throw them in the oven and broil them but this is the method we chose to do today we just have them roasting until the skin kind of gets dark while we're working on the peppers in another pan i am going to add one pound of ground beef to start cooking so this ground beef looks a little gray because it was frozen but it is good don't worry Ooh, all right there we go Once the peppers are roasted, you want to sweat them and it helps the skin come off. So we throw it in like this plastic bag, kind of what they came in, and it'll steam in there, help them sweat, and the skin will be able to be removed pretty easily with a knife after sitting in the bag for a couple of minutes. I'm now going to add the veggies into the ground beef. As you can see, it's pretty much cooked and most of the liquid is gone. So now I'm going to add in my diced onion, my garlic, some green bell pepper, the carrots, tomatoes, and lastly, my cumin. Now I'm just going to stir this all together and let it start cooking down. So as you can see right here, the peppers are in this plastic bag sweating and in a couple minutes, we'll work on removing the skin. Over here, for a little bit of color in the meat, we added about a tablespoon and a half or so of tomato paste and it just gives it a pretty color to the meat. So now we're just gonna stir that together. So what we did was add about a half of a cup of water, turn the heat down to like a medium heat, and we're going to let it all simmer in this pan for about 20 minutes and let everything cook down. Now that the peppers have sweat for a couple minutes, you can see that she's just easily peeling off the skin with a knife, she's just kinda pulling it over the sides and that tough skin comes off quite easily. Once you remove all the skin off the pepper, you cut a small slit in the pepper and you take a spoon and you just start removing all the seeds inside. Just slowly pulling them out, but keeping the pepper intact. We let the ground beef and veggies simmer for about 20 minutes and now the carrots are soft, the ground beef is cooked and it smells so delicious. 
We are going to stuff this meat mixture into our peppers now. All right guys, so now we have our poblano peppers ready to eat. We roasted them, we peeled the skin off and took the seeds out and they are ready to be eaten. And then over here we have our meat mixture with our carrots and bell peppers and onions and garlic and et cetera, et cetera. That is all good to go. And now the final step is pretty much just adding the beef mixture into the center of the peppers and just stuffing them full of that delicious meaty veginess. Mm. Ooh, those look so good. Yum. And then we're just plating them over here on this pretty little platter. Here are the completed peppers. We just finished stuffing them full of the meat mixture. With there only being four of them, I think we might have to have a fight in this household of who gets one. The best way to serve these stuffed poblano peppers is using this cacique crema. It's kind of like a sour cream, but not really. We just drizzle it over the top of the peppers and it just gives it that little extra oomph that's just so, so delicious. Well guys, I hope that you enjoyed this stuffed poblano pepper recipe. This is one of our absolute favorite meals ever. We all fight over these because they are so, so good. This recipe is also pretty versatile. Like my mom just told me that she had one of these grilled poblano peppers. They stuffed them with cheese and served them over fajitas. She had that at dinner the other night. You can mix up the veggies. You can use whatever you have on hand to add into the ground beef but they're pretty simple to make and these peppers just have so much flavor. It is unreal. These are so good. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this recipe video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye guys. Mwah.